Day two in the desert in the World Baseball Classic. Game two for the Brits. And Team Canada makes their debut. Cal Quantrill ready to go. Quantrill, 15 and five a year ago for the Guardians. He made 32 starts and he is a workhorse. Throws a lot of strikes, not really overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. Young is running, got a huge jump, pitches in and the throw is nowhere near in time. And that's what I mean by the speed by Great Britain. They've got it. They want to use it. Gets a great jump at first base. He gets a running start, and they're going to run in this situation. Still at the corners, but with two outs now for Nick Ward. Runner goes. Naylor's throw. Runner coming home. Safe at second, and the run scores. And Great Britain steals a run. Naylor made a pretty strong throw. He's a little short of the mark, but we told you Great Britain's going to roll the dice. They're going to take some chances on the bases. How about that? A 1 0 lead last night against Team USA in the first. And this one into left field. This could be 2 0. Charging is Robson. Runner coming home. Throw to second. Great Britain has two in the first and it looks like they've really taken a lot of things out of that loss press the offense couple of walks in the inning and Nick Ward he was one for four in the game last night what a terrific approach Al Quantrill who walked five hitters all season last year in the first inning in the big leagues in 32 starts has walked three here play with that same focus and so far it looks like they've locked it in two runs across one hit, three walks, and three stolen bases. And here is Darnell Sweeney. Up the middle, into center field. That's a base hit. Here comes Ward. Here comes the throw. He's in there. Three nothing, Great Britain. This is unbelievable. And you can see Quantrill's reaction. Well, those three walks, and you keep encouraging the offense when you walk batters, and that's a pretty good pitch down and away with a lot of movement, but Sweeney stays on it. He had a hit in the game last night. Here comes Ernie Witt. Who would have thought he'd be making this walk at this point in the first inning? Edouard Julien is in the box. First swings for Canada. First pitch, smoked. Right field, deep, gone. Hello, Edward Julien, one of the top prospects that Canada has produced over the last few years. And this guy can absolutely rake. Well, what a way to get your team right back into it. Jump on the first pitch you see in this tournament and hit a line drive out of the ballpark. Canada gave up three runs in the top of the first, but they've got them loaded here. Here's Toro now, infield looking for a ground ball. They get one out there coming home out. Oh dropped by Ford. The run scores racing to the plate and in is O'Neill and Canada gets two on what could have been a double play. And here is Owen Casey. He's another one of these uh, young Canadian prospects lined in a right field and Canada has the lead. Owen Casey. Naylor into third. Lopez scoring. Well, as deflated as Team Canada was after the top of the first, they are right back in this game and, in fact, have the lead. Nobody's at first. This is going to be another run. And the sloppy defense bites Great Britain again. Naylor comes across with Trace Thompson coming up. Thompson, who homered last night, sitting on a 1 1. And he smokes it in the center field. That's a base hit. Young was running on contact and he's coming home and he's going to score. And Great Britain has made it 5 4. That's crazy. Abraham Toro, switch hitter, first at bat was from the other side of the plate. He bounced out. Now against the lefty, stands in. That is a fair ball and down the line. And that's going to chase home another run. Toro around first has the double. Jared Young scores. And Canada's lead is 6-4. Got a pinch hitter here, Deshaun Knowles, with the lefty on the mound. Knowles came in last night and tripled. That one is in the gap. And that could get to the wall. Let's see that speed. Murray's going to score. Knowles to second with a double. And it's 6-5, Canada. And there, a little cup of tea in the afternoon here in Phoenix. Well, and Knowles had a triple in the seventh inning, came around to score the second run for Great Britain, and he didn't waste any time. Looks like a changeup down 
below the knees and he stays on it and he hits this one in the gap. It goes all the way to the wall in left center. Oh, when Casey standing in for Canada, Casey an RBI single back in the first. Center field. That ball's deep. Back goes Thompson. Looking up. Gone! That hit over the yellow line. Casey's acting like it's still in play and he's going to make sure. But the signal from the umpire immediately was home run. That is a big boy home run over a tall wall and straight away center. Infield is in. Bags are loaded. Nobody's out. It feels like for Canada they could just crack this game wide open. O'Neill to right and that could chase him home. That's a diving stop by Young and right. Lost the ball. One run across. Two runs across. Here comes Freeman. That chases them all home. Tyler O'Neill, 10-5. Well, he made a good call. They could bust it wide open. It's 10-5 now. Watch how he stays on this pitch. I mean, there has yet to be a zero put up on the scoreboard in any half inning. Harry Ford, left field and deep and gone. Oh, cup of tea indeed. Uh, he's going to get to wear the crown and the robe, and he'll be touched by the sword in that dugout. And how about that young fan? That's right. Get the robe ready. Get the crown ready. Here comes Harry Ford. A three-run shot. Very nice. <laughs> Harry Ford hit three home runs in the qualifying tournament in Germany. And, boy, he hits a big home run. <laughs> Back and forth, and once again, it's a two-run game. Freddie Freeman at the plate. Canada, 10 runs, 11 hits. Freeman has one of those hits. Freeman off the pitcher, into right field. That's a base hit. Robson's going to score. Julienne is at third, and it's Freeman's second hit. Little roller, and that's going to get through into right field and chase home another run. And the throw gets by at third base, and that's going to allow O'Neill to trot in the second. And Ernie Witt said this today, you have your foot on the gas the whole game. Little tapper could be trouble. Murray, it is trouble, and it's another run. I don't know, Lopez gets his second hit of the afternoon. Another run. There's another bases loaded walk. Slow roller out towards second. Out there, and that's it. Seymour flipping to Sweeney. Lopez scores. Casey will get an RBI and a fielder's choice. Otto Lopez singled twice. Canada with runners at the corners. One out. Lopez, little tapper. Cut off. Murphy gets it out at second base. And now there's two outs. Another run across. Canada has scored in every inning. It's 17 to 8. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a World Baseball Classic record. 25 combined runs, most in a single game. All right, bags are loaded. If you're looking for drama, there is some here. And that is, can Canada score one more run? And run rule, Great Britain. Ground ball. Out there. A run will score. And the throw high, Freeman survives at third, and Young is still at first. And there's that run. It's a 10-run game. So when we get to the seventh, Canada will need just the three outs. And right now, 18-8, just three outs away from ending this game. Matt Brash is out of the bullpen. Got him! Ball game! Canada finishes it in the middle of the seventh. Matt Brash out of the bullpen. Canada now 1-0 joining the United States and Colombia.